Officials of the Nigerian labor movement and their counterparts in the ECOWAS region are in this hall to discuss the effects of taxation on workers. In his remarks, the president of the Nigerian Labor Congress criticizes Nigeria's pay-as-you-earn tax system. All of us workers are aware that the burden of payment of tax is squarely only on the workers. And they call it pay-as-you-earn. In fact, before you are paid, that tax is already removed. And therefore, the rich and the powerful feast on our common wealth. That is the tax we contribute. In other spheres, it's the other way around. The rich subsidize for the poor so that we can have a decent society and we can have social justice. So this is the whole essence of this campaign. Meanwhile, the ECOWAS senior advisor for fiscal program and taxation appeals to ECOWAS member states to firm up their taxation skills so that multinationals operating in the region do not evade tax. With the influx of multinational companies, into West Africa, venturing in different sectors of our economies, and often with aggressive task planning schemes, it behoves on us to sharpen our skills, to combat illicit financial flows, and protect the revenue base. However, the country representative of the American Center for International Labor and Solidarity asks unionists to mobilize and ensure that those who indeed pay taxes get value for money. We live in a world that is feeling the impact of economic inequality. Workers are paying their fair share of taxes and oftentimes are receiving very little in terms of service delivery. In this climate, trade unions have realized that they must continue to agitate organize and mobilize while building broad issue-based alliances. The Nigerian government has in the last two years embarked on several tax reforms with the aim of strengthening the nation's tax system, but these regimes are yet to satisfy unionists as they argue that the current tax system of pay-as-you-earn is inherently unjust for workers.